So Europa League draw, Manchester United have got AC Milan. Arsenal have Olympiacos and Tottenham have Dynamo Zagreb. I don't know a lot about Zagreb. Um, I think Tottenham, that'll be tight for them. It'll be a bit of a struggle. I think Olympiacos is going to knock out Arsenal. And I think it's going to be very tight with United and Milan. Milan are second, I believe, in the Serie A right now. Recently lost to Inter. But, do you know what I mean? They're both above Juventus in, it in Italy at the moment. And that's no small feat in itself. So, it's the return of Zlatan, Ibrahimovic. And he's going to... He's going to cause problems. Obviously, he's not been gone that long. And he's going to be hungry to to be like, yo, look what you're missing. So I do think that it's going to be a very interesting tie. And Zlatan worries me, even though he's he's getting on a bit now. Like, he's still very good. So Delo, I'm not sure if he's eligible to play or not. I think we should have kept Delo. I know he's on loan, but bring him back, in my opinion. We need cover for Aaron Wambasaka, so I would bring Delo back. I don't know if he's eligible to play in this, as I said. Um, I'm not really sure or aware of too many other of their players they've got. I think they have that Kao Honoglu, or I'm not sure how you say his name. Um, so, yeah, I don't know a lot of their players, I don't think, but I know that they're improving this year on several years of just not good enough so it's going to be very interesting um i'm looking forward to it more so now because it is a big team even though they're not as good as they were we're not as good as we were so the battle of the x giants um it's going to be interesting as i said i think we've got the, the toughest tie out of tottenham and arsenal but i like it because we need tests and we need we need hard games um even though it's like the little brother of the champions league do you know what I mean, the Europa League, but I'm excited about it now because it's it's going to be a test. So, yeah, AC Milan, Manchester United, Europa League. I'm more excited for the Europa League now, to be honest, because it's not like we've got... Like, even the Zagreb or Olympiacos, I don't think, is as exciting as an AC Milan. So, I'm excited for it. And it'll be interesting to cover these games, man, when they happen. So, yeah, catch you guys soon.